Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll be walking you through Jitterbit's BigCommerce to NetSuite process template. Process templates are designed to significantly reduce the time it takes to implement business critical integrations between key systems within your organization. While they provide extensive capabilities out of the box, because they're built atop the Jitterbit Harmony integration platform, they can easily be customized and extended upon to further tailor the integration to the needs of your business. The BigCommerce to NetSuite process template comes complete with four integrations out of the box. NetSuite inventory items to BigCommerce products, BigCommerce customers to NetSuite customers and vice versa, BigCommerce sales orders to NetSuite sales orders, and lastly, NetSuite item fulfillments to BigCommerce shipments. Let's start by adding a new item to NetSuite and syncing it to BigCommerce. First, we'll populate all of the relevant information to record this new item entry in NetSuite. Adding quantity on hand, a sales description, and lastly, a base price. We'll save the record, and now we'll switch to Jitterbit so that we can run this integration operation. In this demo, I'll be executing the Harmony integration operations on demand from within the Cloud Studio Designer, but just know that in a live or production scenario, operations can be configured to run on a scheduled basis. As you can see, our humidifier has now been recorded as a new product inside of BigCommerce. Next, we'll add a new customer, Steve Steamers, to BigCommerce. You can see that it doesn't yet exist in NetSuite, so we'll be able to sync it over once it's created. Now that the record's been saved, we can switch back to Jitterbit and run the operation. We'll quickly switch to the project responsible for syncing customers. When we run this operation, if we switch to NetSuite and refresh, we should now see our Steve Steamers customer entry available in our customer list. So now that Steve's company is available as a customer, let's switch to the order management screen and create a new order for Steve Steamers. We'll start by adding the order in BigCommerce, choosing our customer, Adding the address, next we'll add products to our cart. In this case, we'll choose a 150 foot extension cord, update our quantity, save. We'll save and submit the order. And now we can see that order is awaiting fulfillment but does not yet exist inside of NetSuite. We'll refresh our sales orders just to be sure. Now let's switch back over to Jitterbit one more time to run the operation responsible for syncing sales orders. So now when we refresh NetSuite, we see our Steve Steamers order now pending approval. We can view the order. We can see in the memo that we've brought in the big commerce cart ID. We've also got the correct number of items listed there. So we can go ahead and approve this order. And choose to fulfill. We can click save. Mark this item is packed and market shipped. Lastly, we'll open the project that syncs item fulfillments to BigCommerce shipments and run. When we refresh BigCommerce, we can now see that our Steve Steamers order has been marked as shipped, completing our full end-to-end -end life cycle. Before we wrap up, let's take a few moments to take a closer look at one of the projects that make up this process template. This is the project responsible for syncing customers between NetSuite and BigCommerce. Along the left-hand side, we have workflows that help us organize our different integration operations. Here in the main section of the designer is where you actually build individual integration operations and chain them together to build out complex integration workflows. Along the right, we have the connectivity tray which offers access to the various connectors available on the platform.
Lastly, I wanted to briefly introduce you to our new Harmony Marketplace, where process templates, recipes, and other yet-to-be-announced integration assets will be available to bring straight into your Harmony environment with just the click of the Start Project button. From there, the project or projects associated with that recipe or template will be created automatically. All you'll have to do is enter the necessary credentials to connect your endpoints, and you'll be able to hit the ground running. Designed and developed by our solutions engineering team, templates and recipes come with the benefit of our depth of integration experience and knowledge of best practices built right in. As you can see, we already offer nearly 200 assets today, but we look forward to continuing to grow our offering based on the needs of our customers and the broader market. I hope you found this video informative, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to visit our website or follow us on social. Thanks again for watching.